morning, everybody. Happy Saturday, broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. I'm Bill the Geek, and this is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. On the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. We got a lot to cover this morning. And excuse my voice, Kim J., uh, I want to contact you this week uh, to set up an interview. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> if this is your first time here, ask all of the questions you would like. If you're living in Mexico and you want to share what it's like, are you enjoying yourself? If you're thinking about Mexico and you're wondering about maybe where's the first place you want to move to, hey, just say what's on your mind. So, uh, so uh, I'm a little under the weather. I came down with the bad flu Tuesday morning, and I've been in bed ever since. I only get out of bed to edit video. <laughs> I think I caught. I I did all that traveling last week. I was on the on the bus going to Morelia. And I was on the bus for 16 hours and 16 hours. And I think it just took everything out of me. Uh, but, I, but now I'm feeling much better than I did on Tuesday. Dora Ray. Uh, uh, Kim. Kim, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Kim. Dora Ray. Buenos dias from ba Bakersfield, California. The V Lady. Buenos dias from... Oh, that should work. I clicked the button. Good morning, Bill. And uh, I would like to hear your story. If you would email me, I'm going to, I am going to turn on a banner and I'm going to leave this banner on throughout the broadcast because uh, yeah, I would like to, I'd like to interview some people and uh, you know, just uh See, see what's going on with, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. James and Rena, James and Rena, hola, amazing morning in San Antonio. And James and Rena are coming down, they're coming down to Mazatlan to do the uh, uh, Reina del Mar bed and breakfast for a week. And I'm going to get together with them when they come down. That's that's it is actually a very fun and informative trip. And I got to be thankful this morning because uh, we had a big thunderstorm last night. It was a big one. Buildings were shaking. You could hear boom, 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 rain, rain, rain. But got up this morning. We have Internet. We have electricity. All is good here. James and Rena, Jack Webb. Uh, let's see here. Good morning, Senior Bill. Hearing at hearing at Mexican consulate is day after tomorrow. So excited! That makes you that is you feel so good when you do that, and uh, you've done all the paperwork. Uh, uh, it's uh, you've done all the paperwork. They say, come on down. And everything is moving ahead. And it's really not hard. You just have to get all the paperwork done. And then all of a sudden, you're legal in Mexico. And you don't have to worry about anything. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's really cool. Rudy Clemens. Good morning, Bill. Stay cool. Get well soon. And thank you. Thank you, Rudy. Yeah, man, this cold just like is killing me, but that's okay. We just keep on trucking because that's what we do down here. Popping in to say hi from Pooley, Pennsylvania. Eh, weekend with the grandkids. Yahoo, you have fun. Crapo, crapo, Dr. John. Thanks for, thanks for joining us today, Dr. John. Oh, okay, now. Gravity is in the house. Gravity. That's funny. That's what I feel like today. Gravity. Hi, Bill. And everyone, Ola from Bulgaria. We got Bulgaria in the house. Oh, thank you, Kim J, very much. 
uh, I'm going to do this broadcast and then I'm going to get in bed. I have a bunch of video clips from uh, I have a bunch of video clips and a bunch of things to say about Moralia. Uh, e, good morning, everyone from Montreal. We got people from all over the world in here. Liston Henry is in the house. Good morning, Liston from Winston Salem, North Carolina. Ola, and then we got, we even have we even have the one, the only Lakaya La Britain. Always great to see you. Okay, she thinks so. She speaks. I can actually say that now. It took me like a year and a half, right? <laughs> she thinks so. She speaks. Good morning, Bill, and everyone. Hope you get to feeling better. I tell you what, uh, I've had colds like this before. I remember having a cold like this when I was in the sixth grade, and it lasted for like 10 days. But I'm coming out of it now. Everything's good. Good to go. Ola Bill from Charleston, South Carolina. Sorry, you're sick. Get well soon. Thank you very much. Leinsky family. Thank you so much for that. And Axel Foley. Buenos dias, everyone from beautiful P.O. What is P.O.? What is from the beautiful P.O.? What is P.O., Axel? Tell me about that. James and Rena, Jack Webb, congrats, Jack. Yes, that's right. And I'm so happy that you guys support each other in this room because that's what it's all about. Hello from Nashville, Tennessee. And, uh, and, uh, Poconos from the Poconos. That's pretty cool. The Poconos. I've heard wonderful things. They made dirty dancing. That movie, Dirty, Dirty Dancing, with uh, uh, who's the guy that died? The super dancer. Uh, my mind's going here, but uh, that was that was a great movie, and I love that ending scene. Uh, oh wow! Ooh, that was a great movie. Ooh, crapo, crapo, Doctor John can't. Hang around with you too long this morning. Catch you on the replay. Thanks, Dr. John. Uh, Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Oh, wow. Mindy. Mindy Bowen. What are you talking about? Good morning from North Carolina. Guanajuato versus San Miguel. Widowed 65. Wanting to retire. Glad you're feeling better. Thank, thank you so much, Mindy. Brian Maiden is in the house. Love the video with those young adults. Yeah, if, if you guys didn't catch that video, that was that was sweet. That was a sweet video. I didn't get many views on that, but it was a sweet video. Those teenagers were just filled with love, and that's what makes the world go round. Love. Buenos, uh, uh, Buenos from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, you got to move down here from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let me go back here just for a minute. Mindy Brown. Uh, good morning from North Carolina, Guanajuato versus San Miguel. I've been to San Miguel, but it was a long time ago. Uh, it's supposed to be beautiful, a bunch of, uh, uh a lot of, uh, expats there. That means, that means you, you can move there and not worry about knowing any Spanish pretty much, uh, cause there's going to be so many expats that you'll get all helped out. You can just ask anybody in English. You can find expat groups, all that kind of thing. I did fall in love with Guanajuato. And until I went to Moralia, I was sure, I was sure that, uh, I was, I was sure I was going to end up in Guanajuato. Now my lease is up here, uh, not uh, in, in kind of a short time. So I have to figure out where I'm going to make my ne next move. And I want it to be an affordable move. 
Uh, everyone tells me that San Miguel Allende is kind of pricey. But that's what happens when you get a lot of expats. You, you, you go anywhere, you see a lot of expats, and the prices are going to be high. Um, so, so, uh, so, but check out these videos. I'm going to show you, start showing you some videos here in a couple of minutes. Uh, thank you, Julie S. Brooklyn. Terry Don Marshall. Hello, Terry Don. Axel Foley. Bill, how long after you get your visa? You have to come to Mexico to get your temporary. <coughs> um, well, you can just come down, get your tourist visa. And, and what you want to do is hook up. You want to hook up with uh with a immigration attorney before you come and uh i i have uh my attorney i mention him all the time his name is al Baro, and he has helped hundreds of our subscribers get visas my cousin she had her permanent visa papers before she even got to mexico all she had to do is show up, sign some papers. She had her permanent visa. So you want to hook up with an immigration attorney before you even come to Mexico, talk to them on the phone. All of that is very smooth. You will like it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Patrick Swayze. Oh, oh, that was, that was, who? oh man, that was a great movie. Wow, especially the end. That was good. Okay, the lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I told you guys five minutes ago it was Patrick Swayze, y'all right? <laughs> that was great. Uh, uh -oh. oh, my other camera went out. Okay, that's fine. Are you back? Yeah, I'm back now. The other camera is back, but it's on delay. No, it's, it's uh, okay, cool. Dirty Dancing, yeah. Movie was set in the Catskill Mountains. Is that the same as the Poconos? Okay, I got I got videos to show. Oh, Kathy Blackburn. Buenos Dias from Atlanta, Georgia. This is Kathy and Angela. We are making plans to visit Moralia next month. Okay, let's talk about that. But before we talk about that. Let me thank uh, Stony Star God for contributing to the channel. Uh, I appreciate your content. And, and Stony Star God, thank you so much. Got my neighbor in the house. That girl in the house. Uh, where are you? Um, I don't quite understand that question. Where are you? I'm in Mazatlan right now. Lenora Wilson. Hello, Bill, and everyone. From Baltimore, Maryland. How was the hurricane? Um, we haven't had... We had four hurricanes last year. We haven't had a hurricane... We haven't had a hurricane in like a year. But we had four last year. And hurricanes are scary. And I, I, I went through many hurricanes in Puerto Vallarta... And I last year in, here in Mazatlan, we had four hurricanes. Hurricanes are scary. And, 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 and then when the weatherman says, oh, yeah, it's coming. It's a direct hit right for Mazatlan. They showed the little map and the hurricane. <laughs> you can see it. The hurricane's coming right for the city. <laughs> and you're thinking, oh, man, what's going to happen? Because. You got all these high rises. Now I'm in a high rise. If a hurricane hits this place, it's not going to be pretty. Yes. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Excuse me just for a second. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now here we go. Terry Don Marshall is in the house. Have you checked out? Uh, 
I'm going to say this word, Carataro. I haven't been there yet, but my neighbors that live three floors up, they researched it very well. And they went there this month. I mean, they're research freaks. And, and they, they stayed there for 17 days. They fell in love with it. They said it was re really hot. Uh, and they were kind of surprised with that. But they found a luxury apartment there. And uh, uh, they gave me a price on the apartment. I thought it was kind of pricey. It's like 20,000 pesos a month. That's like $1,000 a month. Um, so... No, I haven't been there, but uh, I will check it out. Ru Randy Rudolph, buena dia. Ha hope you feel better. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Albaro, we got our consulate appointment in two days and our permanent. So, so on our way to Mexico, right on Randy Rudolph, right on. That sounds like Jane and and. Uh, James and uh, Rena's story a little bit. Mackie, greetings from German Village, the best little place to live in Columbus, Ohio area. I have been practicing so much on that Duolingo website, but finding it very difficult. That's okay. Brian, just keep on practicing that's all you can do. Practice, practice. Don't stop. Don't stop practicing. Uh, it, it will come. And, and if, if you can find a friend or, or get a group where you can talk Spanish and listen to the other person say things to you, do that. But don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Just keep on, and it, it takes time, but suddenly you will start to understand words and see what they mean, and, and you'll be surprised. Many of the little things that you're doing will be a, a, great, a great help. James and Rena, thank you guys. How about soup? How about supper at Scallions, Bristow, and, and Ahihik? When we arrive and get fingerprinted, you got parties going on. <laughs> People come down here. Uh, Ola Brenda Douglas. Uh, 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 Mindy Brown. Okay. M Mindy Brown. I recommend visiting both, which is easy to do. They're in close proximity. I live in San Miguel, in San Miguel Allende, and I love it. I love visiting Guanajuato, but not to be there long term. See, there you go. Oh, Nana. Hello from Tejas. <coughs> oh, Autumn Green. We're almost all caught up. In the house, Autumn Green. Oh, thank you, Kim J. Okay, let's go, some, let's go to some video clips here uh oh i clicked that button too soon uh okay moralia the the weather in moralia was perfect um i had to wear i would leave my hotel at 7 30 in the morning i would have to put on two hoodies and around nine i could take off one hoodie uh, around 10, I could take both hoodies off. There was no humidity. And and the place was so beautiful. And it, and the weather is so perfect. And and uh, I just wanted to be outside all the time. I didn't wa even want to go back to the hotel. And there's so many wonderful places to eat. Okay. We got more people talking. Oh, Kim. Brian. Oh, here you go. At uh, Lenore, uh, I've been on a Duolingo app too. I'm liking it so far. I find that if you have a pen and paper and write down the words in Spanish and English, it makes it easy to remember. And Brian, start talking to yourself in 
Spanish. Uh, start talking. <laughs> oh, my camera is slow. Start talking to yourself in Spanish. And uh, like in your kitchen, uh, start uh, like, uh, like there's the refrigerator. Write down the Spanish word for refrigerator and tape it on your refrigerator. Uh, you know, knives, forks, spoons, uh, write down the Spanish word for spoon, knives, fork, and, and tape those on there. So, so that as you walk around on your couch, write down the word for couch and, 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 uh, paste it or tape it on the couch on your bed, uh, write down the word for bed comma and, you know. And just, you know, it, and it, it will come along. You, you'll be cool. Okay, here we go. Uh, Jack Webb will do that. Okay. She thinks so. She speaks. Brian Maiden, try pre-ply online Spanish tutoring. It's very affordable. And you have a native speaker help you. That's good. Yeah. Okay, Bill. You aren't alone. I've seen flu cases already and more COVID. Uh, but those come mostly nursing home residents. Thank you, Jack Webb. Okay, let's see this down here. Uh huh. Okay. I'm trying to click this button. That's a great tip. Writing it down. Yeah, yeah. Get it in your head. Write the stuff down. Look at it, start thinking it, and uh, put that, put those things in your head. Next time is, is it a flight and a bus? Get to Morelia? Yes, I will never take, no, gravity victim. I will never, ever take the bus from... Mazatlan to Morelia or that whole area. Uh, you got Morelia, San Miguel Allende. I will never, ever take that bus from here because you go through Guadalajara. It takes eight hours to get there. <coughs> it's, it was terrible. There and back. Next time, I'm flying. I'll fly into Guadalajara, or maybe I'll fly into Lyon, uh, which would be a better option. I'm 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 done with the long bus bus thing. Uh uh. Oh, Kim J, great idea, Bill. Writing down the Spanish words. Well, thank you, thank you very much, you guys. Sasha, good morning. I'm planning a scouting trip to Mazatlan, Cuauhtémoc. Uh, and San Miguel Allende, do you know how I can find an affordable guide to show me communities and the key places in town? Uh, what you do is uh, just go to their, uh, go to Facebook, go to groups, and like in Mazatlan, find a group. And just ask people in the group, I'm coming to Mazatlan and I need a guide to show me around. Uh, some people in the group may just show you around because they don't have anything else to do and they'd like to do it. Uh, some people will tell you people that, that will actually guide you. That's what they do. But I tell you, Facebook is, is a great way to get that done. Axel Foley. How long after you get your visa... In the U.S., you have to come to Mexico to get your temporary. I think you have 30 days to get that done. I'm pretty sure. Flying is quiet, affordable in Mexico. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's get to some, let's get to some videos of, uh, oh, here we go. Here, uh oh, I clicked that button too soon. Come down here. Okay, now here we go. Okay. 
What is that? <coughs> oh, here we go. That's my drone shot. That is the plaza in downtown Moradia. Uh, it's 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 beautiful and um. And around the plaza, on the other side of the plazas, you, you can see all those restaurants. It's uh, it's fabulous. There you go. There is the uh, Moralia Cathedral. I've been to so many cathedrals in Mexico, uh, but this was one of the most fabulous uh, cathedrals. It was so detailed and and giant. I, I thought I'd seen it all, but no. Um, and this is from the plaza, and all those buildings. That's the main street. If you if that's the main street where you see the cars, and you can just walk down that street for about. 15 blocks, and it's nothing but restaurants, uh, uh, department stores, all the major banks are there. Okay, now this clip, this is what I did. And uh, from the drone, you could see all those all those buildings with the arched entra entra entrances. And I I could, I walked, I just walked around there taking videos, uh, no humidity, the people were very friendly, uh, I loved it, oh, th this is, I think this is my longest video clip, but this is across the street from the plaza in Moralia. And you can see all the sophisticated people, business people. Um, uh huh. There's a family over there on the right enjoying the day. I, I love Moralia. And uh, uh, somebody told me, uh, uh, I don't know if I read it or heard it. Somebody told me that Moralia is the cheapest city to live in in Mexico. I'm not going to say that because I can't confirm it. But I read that from a reliable source. The population is 9 million people. The weather is great, very clean. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I stopped here and in a second, you're going to see what I had for breakfast. There's my breakfast right there. Who would have thought bacon, eggs, free whole lace and, uh, and, uh, okay. Uh, quesadillas con queso that was that was it so so i just sat out there i just sat there and uh watched this now i'm going to show you something that i didn't understand until moradia look at those two vans they're all filled with people they don't have a regular bus system they have these vans and they're always full uh so you you just saw two here comes another one and about a block down. And look, people are getting in and out of the van. I only saw one bus while I was there. Instead of buses, they have all these vans, people getting in and out of the vans. I, maybe I've seen this going on, but I just, I never, I never really realized it. Okay. Here. Okay. Over there on the right, you can see this, the, uh, the statue man with the book. And I walked by this place about 20 times and you saw the young man sitting there with the statue man with a book. 
And every time I walked by the statue man with a book, that seat had somebody sitting there uh, reading. That's, you know, it's, uh, oh, yeah, 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 Brian made the, uh, the, the bacon eggs, free whole lace. It, it was a. Uh, it was fabulous, and it was only $15. Uh, I, I, I had to pay for coffee, but the coffee was excellent, and the service was great. Let me go over here to comments and see what's going on. Go back here. Uh-oh, I clicked the wrong button. Here we go. Okay, now. Um, uh, 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 hit the like button. Yeah, we have 71 people. In the house, 21 likes. Thank you, Jet. Thank you, Jack Webb, for your for your advertising. Miriam Newmark, my neighbor, who is right downstairs. Thanks, Bill. Great idea to put Spanish words on articles in our home. I, yeah, um, yeah. When I lived in Puerto Vallarta. When I lived in Puerto Vallarta, there was a uh, this uh, this Mexican lady had a shop. She was she was younger than me. Her name was Alma. Her name was Alma. That means soul. And uh, she was she was a nice lady, and she had her niece in from Guadalajara that, that was going to stay with her for a couple of weeks, and she was teaching her niece. English and all around her shop. It was a restaurant. It was a restaurant and all around her restaurant. She, she had English words like on the chair, on the silver, silverware. Uh, and, and the little girl was learning English very well. That, sh that stuff works. Stony star God. I picked up most of my Spanish working in construction back in the day. Sometimes I dream in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, you, you know, you know, you got it on when you start dreaming in Spanish and then you start thinking in Spanish. Half the time I think in Spanish, but I, I now I try to think in Spanish. Uh, it just helps out. And I need to study some verbs, uh, some new verbs, some new words, but just just to keep it coming. Hit the like button, everyone. Yeah, we got 72 people in the house and some likes. Ciao, Bill. Watching from Italy. Curious, have you been to San Luis Potosi? Yes, San Luis Potosi was the first city I ever lived in. In Mexico, and I lived there for nine weeks. I loved it. The people treated me great. I learned Spanish there. Lots of things to do. Uh, yeah, lots of young people. I don't remember seeing any Americans there except the, for the people in my group. Uh, I need to go up there again and shoot a video. That's what that girl tells me. Okay, when you go outside, when you go to outside setting, do you wait to be seated or just take a table? Uh, uh, everywhere that I was going, everywhere that I was going, uh, everywhere that I was going to, I would just... Uh, uh, I'd walk up to a table and, and the people that work there would just say, yeah, oh yeah, sure. Just sit there. You're, you're good. Uh, so no, uh, no, you just go in, sit down wherever you would like. Ah, uh, you have me excited to visit. I'm not done yet, girl. I'm, I'm not done. The Kaya Britain. It looks, oh, it's, it's the, the place. Moralia is extremely peaceful. And I, I take a lot of crap when I say this, but uh, you have me so excited to visit. Uh, Maria. I, it's, it's, I, I really like it. And uh, I, I stayed at a hotel and I, 
and the guy was born in Moreda. I says, hey, I'm thinking about moving here. If I wanted to get a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment, how much would that cost me? And right. I mean, he just came right out. He says, oh, $3,000, $4,000. No, no, no. 3,000 pesos, 4,000 pesos a month. That's like a third of what I'm paying now. Uh, yeah. So if I can live a much more enjoyable life and a cheaper life, uh, yeah, very delicious. Uh, Michael Dobbins. Let's see what Michael Dobbins is talking about. Good morning from San Diego. You stay safe up there in San Diego. Thanks for commenting. Uh, hello, has anyone taken a Spanish immersion class? If so, where and what was your experience? A Spanish immersion class. Well, that's, that's how I learned Spanish. When I was in San Luis Potosi, it wasn't really a class. Uh, but I lived with a Mexican family for nine weeks. And uh, I mean, if you just live, if, if you're just living with somebody and taking the time to learn Spanish and talking to Spanish, even if it's for only like four or five hours, it's, it's very powerful, very powerful. Last night I had a dream that Pam made me take her to Hoko Tepec on the bus to buy trash bags. This must mean I am missing Mexico. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you're dreaming about Mexico, it's time to come down. I really want to visit Mazatlan this fall or winter. Going to fly, not take ferry from La Paz. Yeah, I've heard that, um, first of all, Fall and winter is the only time you ever want to come to Mazatlan. And it's beautiful, especially especially if you can stay in El Centro. It's beautiful. The weather is perfect. And I've heard... <coughs> I've heard that to fly... Uh, a realtor told me to fly from La Paz to Mazatlan is very inexpensive. And I'm hearing that more and more, that it's uh, flying is, is pretty inexpensive. Bill, the minivans are called combis. <laughs> okay, that go right on. That, now, I've never seen anything like that. That was weird. And they were always full. We got South Africa in the house. Jacqueline. Uh, donating $10 to the channel. Thank you so much. We, we appreciate all of your donations. Let me, I get, let me get back to some more images over here. Okay. What was that? Oh, uh, who is that? Uh, oh yeah. Here we go. Uh, oh, oh uh, yeah. Okay. Here are other statues. They have statues. <sighs> <coughs> they have statues all over town uh young people all over town students all over town businesses and business people and this is the main street and uh i'm gonna pull up a drone image again so you can see that and somebody said that Moravia is just one big museum. It's huge. I've never, I've never been in a place that has so much architecture that it all looks like it's just 500 years old. Six, it all, all, I'm sure when you get out of town, I don't know how far you have to go, that changes, but, but it's just unbelievable. Uh huh. Okay. Ah. Okay. You're gonna love this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you something now. Also, uh, l let me say. Let me say that. Uh, 
on that main street, not only do they have banks and hotels and restaurants, people, people give me crap for saying this, whatever I say this, but they also have Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, Burger King, and McDonald's all up and down the street. <laughs> I don't go there, but, you know, I, you know, I just think it's interesting, okay? I never go, but but it's there. Okay, now I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to check this out. Check out what you're about to see right now. Look closely. Look closely. Here we go. Is that a little Woolworth sign? Oh, are they just selling beverages? No, it's a Woolworth store. And there is inside the Woolworth store in Moralia. Woolworths is really big in uh, Mexico. Believe it or not. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Uh, there is there is a young student carrying tripods and cameras, and there is one Moralia sign on the plaza and you look for these shots and you have to take the shots there you go there you go oh wow oh it was great great peaceful oh uh, now if you walk all the way across town then here's another little park And, you know, it, it was nice. Fountains and uh, 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 this is like a half a block away from the aqueduct. I tried to put the drone up. The drone didn't want to go up, so I didn't get the shots for that. But I did get the shot of the other Moralia sign on the other side of town. There you go, Moralia. Okay, now I I'm going to show you something now. This will, this will, this is going to blow your mind. You have to remember, I'm there like in the first 10 days of August, okay? It's the first 10 days of August. And in that little park, they had construction, construction workers and they're putting uh, uh, entertain. They're putting lights on the light poles. Here we go. There it is. That's what they're putting up. It's hard to see, but those are Christmas lights. They're putting up Christmas lights the first week of August. That's what you call organized right there. I tell you. Uh, uh, we're, I already have about four more video clips. Oh, man. Let's go back. Uh, <laughs> oh, this, this, uh, this come over here and let's click this. Uh, oh. Uh, uh huh. Oh, uh, 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 you're funny. Let's see what uh, let's see what people are saying. Uh, uh, can be if they say KFC, I'm in. Yeah, they had KFC. I, I, you know, uh, Michael Dobbins, Bill. Any experience with Owaka? I haven't been there yet. I will go now that I'm starting to fly. Uh, I'll be going to places, and and I'm just, I'm just I I I've been in Mexico a, a long time, but uh, I, I'm just realizing that I can fly to places. It's not real expensive. I can stay longer, get more information. But uh, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, Brian Maiden. Those are the restaurants I'm trying to get away from. Yeah, 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 and I don't go. Uh, but I tell you what, I, I may have said this before, 
but um, in Puerto Vallarta, I was friends with a family, with a Mexican family, a big Mexican family. And they had a Mexican restaurant right on the beach. And their food was excellent. I mean, it was and it was very affordable. The people were very nice. And and uh, I think it was my life. <coughs> took me a while to get to know them. But uh, uh, but they were whenever I walk by, which is like every day they would say hello. So one day I was in the mall, the Galleria in Puerto Vallarta. And I looked in Carl's Jr.'s in the Galleria. And I never eat at Carl's Jr. Uh, and this family, they were in a booth. They had like 12 people in a booth uh, eating Carl's Jr. And I didn't understand it. I said, And I, I walked up to them and I said, what are you doing? You have a Mexican restaurant. Your food is so good. What are you doing all in here packed in at this table in Carl's Jr.? And they said, oh, we eat, we eat Mexican food all the time. <laughs> That's what they said. We eat Mexican food all the time. We just like to get a change. So, you know, uh, whatever. Okay, now. Oh, Nana. Yeah, I, I remember uh, Woolworths in Columbus, Ohio. You get those cheeseburgers. They were the best. They were real greasy. Yum, yum, yum. While my grandmother take, take me to Woolworths as a kid for lunch, my grandmother, too, in Marysville, Ohio. Wool, 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 Woolworths is very big in South Africa. Very nice stores. Right on. Good morning from Los Angeles, how was the weather? The weather <coughs> in Morelia was perfect all of the time. And I found myself just sitting outside watching people. I didn't want to go to museums. Uh, I didn't want to go inside restaurants and eat food. I don't eat very much. I was just happy sitting at some of those outdoor cafes, drinking a cup of coffee, and just watching the people. Uh, and and the weather let me do that. Right now in Mazatlan, it's like you're in jail unless you like like. I mean, the heat index is about 114 here. That's just torture to go outside. You can die. Uh, so uh, the weather was perfect. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Jack Webb, my new neighbor, texts me last night telling me my grass needed cutting, so she cut it. Told me to bring her a large jar of extra crunchy uh, Jif peanut butter for payment. Right on. Right on, Jack Webb. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Jif. You can find Jif. They have Jif down here easy. You can get that at like a Walmart. Very simple. Jif. Uh, they have Skippy peanut butter down here also. KFC was not good in Cuauhtetaro. And cooling is better. I love to everyone. Okay, right. Love to everyone. Thank you so much. Kathy Blackburn. Kathy Blackburn, thank you so much for contributing to the channel. Uh, you can see I'm advertising for an interview down there at the bottom. Anybody that would like to do an interview, it's long distance. You don't have to see me in person. I use GoToMeeting. Uh, your your face shows up, my face shows up. We do an interview for like 20 minutes and uh, that's it. You don't even have to see me. Uh, but there's there's my email down there. If you're interested, email me. I would love to do it. Thank you so much for contributing 
to the channel can be that makes me sad i don't care anything about the other fast food bill mentioned but i do love kfc <laughs> hey we all got our points the only fast food i would die for is white castle in columbus ohio no frozen white castle just go to white castle and get cheese jalapeno burgers I would die for those down here. Bill, uh, it looks like you feel miserable. Thank you for being a trooper for us. Oh, hey, this is what I do. This is what I do. I can't, I can't let you guys down. I can't let you guys down. Uh, it's Saturday, and we go live. I'm Bill Geek broadcasting live from... Matzatlan, this is what we do. And I, as long as I'm talking, I'm good. But as soon as I get out of this, I'm going back to bed. It's all right. I'm just, I'm just glad I'm getting better and better. Oh, those two boys in front of the sign had sweaters on. Was it more on the cool side? Yeah, now... You have to remember that I would leave the hotel at uh, 7.30 in the morning. So by the time I walked to the plaza, it's like 8 o'clock. You need a sweater or a couple of hoodies until like 8.30 in the morning. But after that, after 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's not cold, uh, but I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be cold at all. So I wear two hoodies, but, and, it, and people are wearing sweaters, but it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not cold. And my ho hotel did not have air conditioning. Julie S 83 PPL watching 11 likes press the like button. Yeah. Thank you for the advertising. Julie, what did you have to pay for a motel in Moralia? I paid $24 a night. And it wasn't fabulous, but it was surrounded by places to eat. Uh, yeah, uh, it was only uh, maybe it was maybe uh, five blocks from the plaza. And as you're walking around there, uh, it, it was beautiful. I was never there. I didn't want to be there. It was, man, it was very clean. But for $24 a night, I'm good with that. Okay, now. It was kind of ugly, too, but it was clean. Ray Garcia. Bill, sometimes nasal allergies masquerade as a cold. Well, thank you, Ray. Uh, I will finally be in Guadalajara at the end of September. Woohoo! Guadalajara is a, is a great place, and Guadalajara has a fantastic climate. I mean, uh, it, it gets it gets a little warm, it gets a little warm, but the the climate generally is fabulous. Oh, but in the winter, it gets kind of cold at night. Uh, so it's going to go down to maybe 46, 47 degrees. Nobody has heat in Guadalajara. So that, that 46, 47 degrees, it, it just uh, uh, it stays in the house. And all the houses are made of brick. And so the brick absorbs that 46 degrees all night. So at six, seven o'clock in the morning, it's 47 degrees in your house in Guadalajara and there's no heat. And you and you have to take a shower. I did not like that. I did not like taking a shower in 47 degree weather. I did not like that. OK, so let's go into the church finally. Let's go over here first. Congratulations, Jacqueline. You'll be here end of September. Congratulations. 
congratulations. That's uh that's very exciting. Very exciting when you when you make that move, you're and you're coming from all the way across the world. Uh, okay. So now let's go into the Cathedral de Maralia. This place was huge. It was amazing. And uh, there are so many. You you just walk around. You see a place. It's a museum or something, you know. Uh, the more I go to places, uh, the more the more I visit cities. Uh, I, I well, whatever you know, let's not go there. So here we are. We are right in front of the cathedral. There it is. It looks like a campus. It could it could almost be be Vatican City, and I I wonder why the Spanish put all of that money into this church. Let's go inside. Uh, I think. Um, I'm thinking this is a Tuesday morning, maybe place is huge but there were all there were people in there uh people uh uh giving uh uh what do they call that see those see the little wooden boxes over there uh confessions doing their confessions uh and i i've never i've been to a lot of churches in mexico i've never seen anybody give a confession what you know they're the wooden boxes are always there. I'm not, but but the uh, the priest at this place in Moralia, he was busy. Uh, people were confessing their butts off. They you know they they must have been doing something real freaky deaky the night before. They had lines of people. It must have been an orgy the night before. People were feeling guilty. Whatever. Here we go. And of course, inside the church and the ceilings, they have fabulous ceilings. Wow. Just, uh, I mean, you could just go in there and be an atheist and just, just look around, but I, I got to go back here. I got to go back here. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna, now, now look at this drone shot. And you can see the main, main city, but way out there across the way, you can see all of those, all the communities out there. I didn't even touch those. I think I would really need about like, two or three weeks to do a good job with this city. And this is the city where the monarch butterflies wait and prepare to take off. There are eight uh, magical cities within 10 minutes of Moralia. It's, uh, it's, it's a fabulous place. Wow. Okay, you guys. Well, Oh man! Wow. Well, folks, uh, I hope I hope this was informative. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, gravity victim. Any issues with elevation in Mor Moralia over six thousand feet? Uh, that's going to depend on you, gravity victim. Uh, some people can't live in Ahi Heat because I think the elevation is like 5,000 feet and that messes with them. So those people certainly couldn't live in Moralia. But I had not I had no issues at all. I, I was good with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lenora Wilson. Seems like Moralia is where I would like to be. I loved it. 
I loved it, especially if you're willing to learn some Spanish. Uh, but people were just people were coming up and talking to me, and we were talking in Spanish. One guy I spoke English to. <coughs> So it, it was great. Okay, you guys. I'm getting out of here. Uh, I, I hope I hope you guys uh, like these videos and the information. I hope it's all good for you. Uh huh. Uh, Brian Maiden, Bill, go to bed and rest all day. Hope you start feeling better soon. And bye to all the house. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Brian Maiden. So sorry you guys, I was kind of dull today. But you know, I'm feel I'm well, I've been in bed like all week. Uh I can do I, I I can get up and do stuff for like an hour and a half, then go to bed, hour and a half, do something, then go to bed. So, but I'm good. Next week. Next week, I think that I will be back to the good old Bill the Geek that you guys know and love. So here we go. Uh, I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting not live. No, I'm Bill the I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis Channel. And we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. Love you all. Thanks for being patient with myself. And uh, and uh, and we'll 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 see you. Thank you, Mrs. Sam. Thank you very much. And we will see you next Saturday when Bill the Geek is feeling much better. Adios, adios, amigos. Love you all. Have a great weekend.